Wow, did we just transport ourselves to Maleficent's castle? We're flying on a dragon, and we're getting dropped off at the top I'm of the tower. Really tired of this. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bishop Mandible, trans ultimate apostle of the anti secular conclave what? of clerics. I know. I know. <laughs> Am I expected to kneel? Silence, you impudent punk! This is my assistant, Cobb. Charmed, I'm sure. And you require no introduction. Your cloak and staff betray your origins. But I must say I'm surprised to find you here. It's been quite a long time since any weaver bothered to leave that dreary little rock you call home. <laughs> Loom. Loom. <laughs> So provincial. I can't help but wonder what impelled you to leave it now. His Excellency asked you a question. I know. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> ah, recalcitrance. I see. Shall I fetch the uh, instruments of persuasion, Master? Please forgive my assistant his eagerness. Assistant's kind of scary. Cobb is not very worldly. He does not understand the dangerous power of a weaver. Dangerous? Your reverence, him? Quite dangerous indeed, my dear Cobb. In fact, he could burst this flimsy iron cage open with hardly a second thought. That's impossible, most exalted one. I inspect the locks personally every fortnight. Observe and learn then, for even now your prisoner plans his escape. This guy has a longer title than Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. Open the cage. I I'm trying to click on them to see if we can use our fear spell, but nothing's working. So we're going to have to do this. What they expect us to do. And we're out. Hi. You see, Cobb? An elusive breed, these weavers. Fortunately, however, they're quite helpless without their weaving sticks. No, that get that back. stuff will never work for you. Oh, no, my young friend, you're quite wrong about that. Come, let me show you why. Consider the common graveyard. There, the boundary between the living and the dead is indistinct. Every graveyard like that, so... Now, imagine what might happen if this delicate boundary were to be somehow breached. It's a bad Torn idea. Torn open, so to speak. It's a bad idea. It's not that simple. You can't just rip the pattern apart like an old rag. But it is that simple, my boy, and I can. I have only to lift this rod, and the legions of the dead will stream forth onto the plain of the living. A vast army of the dead, nourished by the shepherd's flocks, armed by the artisanship of the blacksmiths, guided by the glassmaker's spear. All under the spiritual leadership of one supreme commander, me! The final hour is now at hand. The age of the clerics is upon us. I have preparations. This guy is absolutely insane. Don't let this boy out of your sight. He is to touch nothing. Do you understand me? <laughs> Perfectly, Your Excellence. Lord Mandible, ruler of the universe. Mm, I do. I do like the sound of it. I'll have to change my station. You're is... not so dangerous now, then, are you? It's nuts. Oh, he's not throwing back cage. Oh, hello. She looks hungry. I think I'll stay out of her way. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, a sphere. Keep away from that. His eminence said not to touch anything. I was I wasn't gonna touch it. Just looking, Cobb. That's all. Yeah, just looking. Just looking, eh? Yeah. Well then, perhaps we can do a bit of a trade. 
How about I let you look in the sphere if... If? What? Well, the legends say that to gaze upon an uncloaked weaver brings death... This is a bad idea, cop. Actually, we clerics aren't given to such silly superstitions, but I'm curious. Let's answer this one once and for all, shall we? No! Whoa! May we have some quiet, please? Oh, I'm the cop! Can't even begin to invoke the dead with all that screaming. I'm just... Well, he can't say he wasn't warned. Yeah, that, that was freaky, Bobbin. Okay, we got a sphere. We'll look three times as we do four. First time seems to be the swan once again. Okay, we know that one. How about the second time? Cooked chicken? Huh? Okay, it's weird. Time number three. A black feather. That does not seem... That doesn't seem good. Let's go get our staff back before this psychopath destroys the world. I see Cobb has been lax in his duty. No matter. You're just in time to witness the dawn of a new era. You don't have the slightest idea of what you're doing. The pattern is already worn and frayed. If you rip a hole in it now, the consequences will be beyond anything you can imagine. Spare me your weaver mysticism, boy. The time has come when the dead shall no longer envy the living. This is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. Please don't do this. God. You've torn the pattern completely open. And with it, the eyes of the dead. Behold! I have a very bad feeling about this. Yeah, you and I both, buddy. Who dares disturb the peace of those who sleep? I welcome and greet you, noble spirit. I am Bishop Mandible, transultimate apostle of the anti-secular conclave of clerics. And whom have I the honor of summoning? I don't think I want to be part of this conversation. I don't think no I want to either. Big and a summoning of yours, foolish mortal. I have summoned you. I am Chaos. You have merely opened the door, and I have passed through it. For this, you shall be rewarded. Join me now, as my slave. Since my last visit. I did warn you to say that the game would get a lot more freaky. That guy just got torn apart. I can't seem to hold on to this thing. Oh, that is brutal. So this creature just... Uh-oh. Do you see what I don't see? I don't see a green monster in a cage. Well, we need to get out of here. And fast. And, oh, goodness. Stop! Ah! Seems like we're getting thrown off everything nowadays. But we're now in a... Where are we? I think I'll stay out of there. That dragon looked rather hungry. So it looks like holes in the fabric of existence has been torn open. Which means we can close them, can't we? If we do this reverse... Uh, we can repair the holes in the fabrics. And now, we couldn't go inside that hole. But can we go inside this one? Where is this going to lead us? Oh, Rusty. Rusty? Is that you? Y you don't look at all well. I'm not well. Actually, I'm dead. I don't... I don't know what to say. 
You don't have to say a thing. What do I matter? I'm just another one of the dead. Oh, Rusty. I feel terrible. I and didn't know. And that's not even the end of it. I go outside to wait for doomsday, like a good little ghost scene. But no sooner do I get settled again, but some stupid idiot shreds the universe apart and hauls us all back inside. There are a lot of very unhappy dead wandering around here. Let me tell you. I can imagine. I know. I was there when it happened. I might have known this was no, all your fault. It was fault. not our fault. No. No, it wasn't me. The bishop managed this one all on his own. Yeah? Well, there's going to be hell to pay, literally. There's talk among the dead that they're going to take over the world. Oh, that's bad. Starting with the forge. That's... My home. What happened where to Where we the used forge? to build strong things. Good things. That thing does not look good anymore. I'm sorry, Rusty. I really, really am. There's nothing left but bones. But we did learn a spell, didn't we? We learned a healing spell. It's a long shot, but we can try. You did it. That worked. You brought me back. It is what you wanted, isn't it? Believe me, being alive is a lot more fun than being dead. But how did you do it? I don't know. Well, healing your body was easy. You're alive because the pattern is torn and your soul was free to return to this side. Well, I must go, Bobbin. I've got to know what happened to the rest of my guild. And I must do the same. Good luck, Rusty. And be careful. Good fortune to you too, my friend. How at least... At least we got to save Rusty from horrible fate. So E C E D E C E D D E C E D. Nothing left here. Let's go ahead and close up this hole. And let's check the next fabric. See where this pops us out at. Oh, it's fleece. And all the people are dead. You are too late, wizard. The dead have increased their numbers here. Those not dead are suffering. And my songs were again useless. All that's left for us is to put an end to their misery. Come and extend your help if you can. I, I think we can. Especially since the fabric's been torn open. Maybe this will work twice. What became of us? I was just walking among legions of dead. You were saved by the mercy of yonder boy. We have not had the chance to thank you properly, Wesley. I, I just tried to do my best. But our memories are long, and we will not forget you soon. Hail and farewell. Come along now, before the dead ones return to the harvest. Farewell to you too, please. Well, we're trying to go back in fix our mistakes D, 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 e, C. are these truly our mistakes yeah i guess so but then again this is probably the prophecy coming true the veil has been torn open and everything is just dying nothing but death and destruction in this land but maybe we can try to repair some of it and on into the emerald city oh He's not looking too well. We can fix that, can't we? Master Goodmold. Ah, the Weaver Boy. Wait, the spell that worked. At least you have escaped the terror of the Dead Ones. It appears the Crystal Guard has not been so fortunate. But I don't understand. Why did you not use the Great Scythe? We never doubted the scythe could save us. No, never, no, indeed. <laughs> Even chaos must fall under its blade. But we could not do it. To unleash such merciless evil would show us to be no better than our enemies. Well, to kill the, the ultimate evil, would it be bad? Us when it was done. 
and to have become so much like our enemy was unthinkable. <laughs> Just unthinkable. And so you didn't use it? We knew the price. The best we could hope for was to defend it bravely. But we are not warriors. You mean... Chaos stole the oh, sign? No. We did what we could. Oh no. But it was not enough. <laughs> Remember us, my young friend. <laughs> Tell the world <laughs> that we fought with courage <laughs> and chose death with clarity. <sighs> Above all else, clarity. Oh man. No, we could bring him back. No. Now death has the ultimate weapon. Truly looks like the actual character of death now. It's got a scythe. Man, that stinks. Second to last letter B. We don't know when he's supposed to have B just yet. So we're just going to have to wait and see how that one works out. Continuing our voyage. Our next stop should be home, right? That doesn't look like home. Just saying. Welcome, Bobbin. You have joined us here at last. Uh, hello, Where Swans. Am I? You are outside the pattern. The home of the dead, and of those transcended. The shore of wonder? Yes, Bobbin, the shore of wonder. And you are the first to behold it with mortal eyes. Uh, well, hello. Your journey has been long, and you must have many questions. Yeah, You're the swan I do. that appeared each year on my birthday, aren't you? You saw me clearly then. I was never sure. But those visits meant so much. My only chance to watch you grow. You see, the elders forbade me to set foot on Loom Island just after you were born. I thought you came to visit me, but I never quite believed it. Call it a mother's curiosity. For indeed, Loom Child, that is who I am. My mother is a swan? Indeed. In mortal life, however, I was Lady Signa Threadbare. Banished by the elders 17 long years ago for drawing an unforeseen infant out of a loom. I must have us. I've longed to know you and you to know me, my son. Liar, that's just not true. My mother is buried in the weaver's graveyard. Oh, dear Hetchel, she and the elders put that stone there so you wouldn't ask too many questions. Hetchel vowed to protect you forever, Bobbin. She is my dearest friend and she loves you very much. But I fear her love has driven her to recklessness. What do you mean? Where is she? She flew off to Loom Island to confront the dead ones. Oh, that's the not dead good. ones are after her? It's not Hetchel they're after, my son. They want the loom itself. If chaos masters its secrets, the pattern will be hers to control. Hetchel plans to destroy the loom if chaos doesn't consume her first. No, I've got to go back there, now! You won't get far in that direction. The loom lies beyond the lake. No, you must try a more subtle strategy. Oh, what do you propose? The dead ones move between the holes your bishop friend rent in the pattern. Dead ones move between the holes here. So we need to... So the dead ones move between the holes. So that's basically our way of saying we need to shut the holes, which we've done. So that means we can now officially move on to the final area back home. And of course we appear in the graveyard. Of course we do. Only makes sense. Huh? Oh, the forge is coming. Oh, that looks evil. It's so evil looking. And yet it was such a good place. I mean, now I know when I went to see it originally, it looked dark and red, but oh, we're here. Can we beat chaos? C uh, I don't know how I see yet though. That doesn't help me. Those are the same four threads spun by the elders. They're still echoing in the loom. 
Petro. Mind yourself, Bobbin. Get your distaff ready. You must unmake the loom now before chaos takes control. I, I don't know how. What? How? I don't know what draft to use. <laughs> Birds and children have no business wielding such power. I'll be quiet. Evers yeah. are the only ones who do have the right to use this power. Destiny yeah. has blessed you, young threadbear. For you alone will live on to pass your guilt secrets to others more worthy of them. I invite you to serve my new empire as advisor. Like heck. Me? You? Advisor? Of course, I will expect your full cooperation in this historic exchange of goodwill. After all, anything else may bring harm to our relationship. Don't listen to her, Bobbin. Heed me now. Here are the threads that will unmake the loom. Silence. Hetchel, say something, please. I need that draft. Enough. Hetchel's trying to talk, but can't. I in the presence of inferior beings. You will now instruct me in the use of this fascinating instrument. Over my dead body. Preference noted. <laughs> Preference noted. Be quiet, Chaos. I need to get Hetchel. Oh, look at that face. I need to get Hetchel a back big somehow. Noise, but there's nothing, not a sound. So it went down. Did you hear it went down like each step one at a time? But what were the notes? Well, the best thing I can think of is for us to start at F and go up to B. And if that doesn't work, go to E to A and then D to G. We'll, we'll get there eventually. So F, G, A, B. I'm using B first because we just got that note. Ah, aha, I worked. Oh, thank goodness. Now, Bobbin, quickly, the threads you need are... Ducks are meant to be eaten, not her. No! We were discussing the secrets. No! Of no! What was that? Was uh I I can't sing. I really wish that's not helping. What was that? That was like a high, then a medium. Then a high, then a medium. So let's go with G B G B. I don't think it was G. I need to choose no. my draft. How about F? Carefully. That was it. Aha! Is that one good reason to play on expert? You kind of get yourself used to this part of the game. Now, Bobbin. But keep your ears open. Here descends the third shadow. That bird has annoyed me once too often. What's going on? Now, no, Hatchel! Advisor, where were we before we were so no. distracted? Hatchel's black feather. She left one behind. And so she did. I think I shall keep it as a souvenir of no. our encounter. I want that feather. Give it to me. My, my. Impudent, aren't we? You, you... Can we, like... Cast spells on her? Not to approach me too closely, Weaver boy. What was that healing spell? Can we like bring her back to life so we can kill her for taking our Hetchel? Or is it was C A A C? Throw away that stick, young fool. Your Weaver magic can't begin to touch me. How about fear? What's that fear spell? D F F D. Throw away that stick, young fool. Your weaver magic can't begin to touch me. Loom, I need your help. 
E, C, C, E. Is it teaching me how to unweave itself? Huh? Oh, it is! Tear the veil! Bobbin, Bobbin, you did it! The loom is unmade! You ignorant fools! Do you comprehend what you have done? None of us can pass across this rift your weaver mister has so blindly created! Your pious meddling has brought the end of my dream! You will hear for all eternity the cries of those you have abandoned, Bobbin Threadbear! You will always know that you have left them under my rule. We abandon no one. When our side of the pattern is mended, we will return and put an end to your evil. Come, Loon Child. It is time for us to begin our destinies anew. Ah, uh, we got that last C. And now cast that spell. Leaving so soon, Weaver. I was looking forward Look to out. spending more time with you. Myself. All right, that spell. C. F. G. C. I noticed that our eyes change colors when we cast our spell. That was cool. Fly away while you can, young Threadbear, and know that we will most assuredly meet again. I am ready, Mother. Let's go. We just take the veil with us. And then the scythe turns into the moon. How cool is that? Well, my fine feather friends, this was a loom created by Lucas Arts in 1990. Unfortunately, never got a sequel. There, there is someone who is actually working on a fan sequel of the game called Forge, but unfortunately, he's only completed chapter one and it may never actually happen. This game was never intended to have a sequel, but they did plan two extra games. The, the sequel Forge was going to be Rustin's, oh, I'm sorry, Rusty's story. Remember Rusty Nailbiter, Nailbender, the, not the shepherd, the, the guy who was asleep at the tombstones. And the third game was supposed to have Fleece, who was the shepherdess character, and she was supposed to end this series. Maybe one day, with all the talk of, you know, bringing back some old games and remastering them, you know, maybe one day we'll get a long-awaited sequel to Loom. But until then, we have this gorgeous, wonderful, magnificent game, and I can't, I can't thank LucasArts enough for this game. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this game and like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, go buy the game yourself. I'm pretty sure it's probably not very expensive. I had the Steam version. Go and try the original, original version. Um, you will probably won't get as many, you know, glitches that happen in the background that you saw in this version. And there is no voice acting in the original, but the original is, you know, a really good version. You know, they wouldn't have remade it if the original wasn't good after all. So until next time, my fine feathered friends, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Always remember to be true to yourself and just keep being the wonderful person that you are. And I will see you in our next adventure. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.